plugins is one of, if not the best way to customize Space Engineers to your liking. Whether it is changing your HUD, adding color to icons, and so much more. I'm Alice, and today I'm going to show you how to download plugins for Space Engineers. Quick disclaimer before we begin, you are using plugins at your own risk, just like with mods and experimental mode. If you want to read more about plugins and the risks, more info can be found on the Space Engineers website, link in the description. Now to start off, we need to get what is known as the plugin loader. So first, head to github.com slash sepluginloader slash spaceengineerslauncher. The link will be in the description. From here, you're able to find out more info about the plugin loader, as well as written instructions. Next, you want to go to the releases page and download the spaceengineerslauncher.exe. Once that is done, find the launcher you just downloaded, right click and go to properties. Then at the very bottom, check the unblock box, if it's present, before hitting apply and then OK. Next, open your Steam library and find Space Engineers. Go to Properties, Local Files, then Browse. From there, open the bin64 folder. Then, simply drag the launcher.exe into the bin64 folder or paste it in. Then you can choose to either double click or create a shortcut in order to start your game with the plugin loader. But what if you want to use Steam instead of this shortcut? Well, all you have to do is go back to Space Engineers, Properties, and in the general window you will see Launch Options. There you can paste in the file location of the launcher, followed by percent command percent. The launch option will be in the description, but it is important that there is no space before or after, and that you have the correct drive assigned at the very beginning. Once your game has started, you will see a new option appearing called Plugins. From here, you will be able to download a variety of different plugins and mods. Here are some of mine. To add a new plugin, simply click the plus icon and you will bring up a long list. Then find the plugin that you want. Let's use Seamless Armor Blocks as an example. Check the box in the top right, exit the window, then hit Apply. You will receive a prompt to restart your game to download the plugin, click yes, and the plugin will be downloaded automatically. When the download is completed, then congratulations, you just got yourself a plugin. Now, one thing you might wonder, why use plugins instead of mods? Well, plugins are client side, meaning that you can have seamless armor, build info, and so much more, no matter what server or game world you join. This means that you can have your game be however you like, wherever you go. And with that, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you found this helpful, then why don't you smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more guides like this one. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!